Hey, what's up guys? Trix here back with another episode of Trix Place for you. This time I'm going to be playing Floating Point, the sort of arky gravity acrobatic game made by the guy who made Gunpoint. Uh, his name's Tom Francis, by the way. And you can get this on Steam completely for free, not the uh, bad kind of microtransaction riddled free with no real gameplay and old DLC, but the actual at free free like it's just completely free there's no microtransactions there's nothing like that you just play the game it's completely free and the reason it's free is because it's an appreciation for the success of gunpoint so yes uh, i recommend you play it but the goal of floating point it is to if i can turn down my volume which it looks like i cannot at the moment oh wait 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 no, I can't. Okay. But the goal of floating point is ch it's just momentum based. You grab on to different blocks and you have to co collect these red pillars and the faster you're moving, the taller the red pillar will be. The taller the red pillar is, the more points you get. So you can kind of see how it works and it is quite fun and quite gorgeous, quite beautiful. It's got very nice music and very compelling graphics, I guess. Oh, this is going to be good. There we go, lots of them. Uh, not the best though. I've gotten quite a few more. Um, if I turn down my volume for this game real quick. Sorry guys, it's just a little bit loud. But there we go. Um, this game is a bit difficult. So you will not be that good at first. I'm not too good at the moment, but um, it is quite fun. You'll be like, oh no, this is terrible. I'm awful, this is awful. I'm terrible. I know I said it twice, but once you play it a bit, you will start to get better, and it will start to become more fun, and you will enjoy it some more. And it's just real fun to uh, to gain your momentum, watch your trail behind you, and I, I quite like it, and I recommend that you download it. It's a very small game, so if you don't have a lot of disk space, uh, you can still download it, and it's good. it's got good optimization, so if you've got a bad computer, uh, you'll still be able to play it. Um, so I recommend you go download this. I don't see why you wouldn't. It's completely free. Uh, on the bottom part of the level, so there's this part in the sky, and it's all f free floating and fun and stuff, but on the bottom part some water, and that's the difficult part. Uh, that's the part that takes the most time. It takes a ton of momentum to get right. Oh, uh, but this game is amazing. So let's go down here. And if this game doesn't tell you that, or doesn't show you that games are art, then I don't know what will, because this totally shows that games are a, f are a type of art. Because at the end of each level, once you collect all the red bars, um, you can move on to the next level before you collect all the red bars. You just have to get a certain amount of points. But if you collect all the red bars, it'll show your path you took when you're collecting the bars, and if that doesn't tell you the game's art, I don't know what will. It's kind of like how um, Super Meat Boy, at the end of each level, it has that replay of all of your attempts and all of your deaths. Um, it's kind of like that. So, uh, if we can beat this level, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. We've just got a few more red bars left. Um, red pillars, I suppose they could be called. Uh, there's no real story. There might be a story at the sometime, but not at the moment. I think it's just going to be a casual, fun little indie game. It wasn't really meant to have a story, I don't think. Um, just moving my window around for this. And dive under, and now we're gonna grab over here. Nope, that didn't work. Ah. This game is kind of brutal because you spend so long trying to gain that momentum and then you hit one block in just the wrong way and it all goes, just passes through to the block and you lose it all. Um, it's a very nice physics game. I'd say it's a casual physics puzzle game, probably. Uh, where are the other red blocks. I don't know. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, there they are. Looks like. Um, so yeah, I'm not too good at this game at the moment, but uh, since it is so gorgeous and addictive, I will probably be playing a bit too much of this. Um, because I I'm really liking it. It's got really nice music. I believe you can download the album if you want to. Uh, come on, pull yourself in. 
Yeah, or, uh, stop losing momentum. I am terrible at this game. Okay, uh, pull up. Yeah, it's got three controls, really, and that's it. It's, uh, you left-click to grab onto a block, you hold to pull yourself in, and you right-click to let go. So, um, yep, and that all makes it a very nice chain reaction of events and stuff. There's no way to, uh, let yourself out. Um, there should be, though, maybe. Like, if you hold right-click, you extend instead of, um, pulling yourself in. Possibly that might be something. Uh, yeah. So, let's try and get these bars. Ah, oh, dang. I keep losing all my momentum. Oh, there we go. Dang it! No. I keep messing it up. Okay. Over there. Over. Oh, no. That wasn't a lot. There. There we go. And now pull down. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna name my little character Thomas in memory of, or because of Thomas was alone. I don't know what I was going to say in memory of. Thomas didn't die. Well, um, yeah, Thomas didn't die. I'm not going to reveal any of the plot of Thomas was alone for you, so you can go and enjoy that wonderful game yourself. But anyways, back to floating point. I shall call this dot Thomas. And it looks like he doesn't have any friends. We are stuck on this level. I'm just going to move on to the next level in the hopes of getting a better one. Um, because we were not doing too well on that level. And there we go, grabbing red bars already. Sweet. Get ourselves a nice fling. Yeah, you're gonna fling yourself a ton in this game. It's a, it's a web swing game. It's like Spider-Man, the Spider-Man games, except good. Um, I know Spider-Man 2 is one of NerdCube's favorite games, and it's got great web swinging. I've seen it before, but, um, this is really fun to just hurl yourself around in. And, yeah, so, have you downloaded this yet? Um, the entire, it'll probably only take you, if you download this game while you watch this video, by the time you finish this video, the game should be downloaded. So, go and download it right now. Do it. I dare you. Why am I daring you? It's an amazing game. Just, just do it. Uh, grab up there. Yeah. Not too good at it, but I'm hoping to get better because I like this game a lot. Come on, get, yeah, there we go. Come on, Thomas. Thomas is slightly stupid. Um, but I suppose it's my fault, because he's an inanimate object. I'm, I'm actually doing all the uh, controlling. He just grabs on. So who's, who's stupid? Is it me, or is it Thomas? I don't know. I think it might be me. Anyways, uh, let's get some of the water ones. Yeah, I played a level right before this, just to make sure I would be able to do it. And I did it pretty quickly, but then I started recording, and I did not do it so well. Oh, oh, there we go. Momentum, yes. Oh, that was good. That was pretty cool. Uh, that was completely unintentional and pretty cool. Let's go up here and swing around, grab it, and get some momentum. Boom, 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 boom. nailed it. Come on. Aw, oh, dang it, Thomas. You stupid oaf. And there we go. Oh, nice. We've got momentum to spare. Momentum for days. There's a lot of customization in this game. Like, um, you can customize every single aspect about how it how it plays if you want. Um Oh, download it. Or not download it. Go for that red bar. Come on, Thomas. Let's get some more momentum up because that's what we need in this time. Grab this. Um, so if you want to play this game, you can probably find it on Steam, but there will be a download link, or not a download link, a Steam link in the description below for you, as there is with every single Trex Plays I do, unless the game is not on Steam. Uh, I haven't done any Trex Plays with the game on Steam yet. I need to do that. Oh, yes I have. I've done the... Uh, the next car game won. Sorry about that, guys. I just had to cut out my phone ringing. I am really doing terrible now. This is making me slightly angry because I was doing pretty good before I started recording and now I'm making 
this game look bad for you guys, but it is quite amazing. Oh gosh, come on, I just, I just want to kill Thomas at the moment, because he's being annoying. And just, uh, anyways, we must get some more momentum. It's so brutal, because you build up so momentum, and then you can, dang it, you can lose in like half a second if you hit a block wrong, which is why this makes this game unique and fun. Uh, it's kind of like Flight Control HD. That game is brutal. Um, I, I've been playing it a bit recently. I've been like going for achie I've been achievement hunting in it, and like I'll be flying planes around, and then one stupid helicopter comes along and it crashes into everything, and I lose the game. Yeah, that game is brutal. Um, alrighty, come on. Oh, that was nice. Let's go under here, and oh, gosh. Just get, uh, I really want to murder this dog. I'm just going to go to the next level. I need to beat at least one level for this. There we go. Okay, there we go. Doing well, except we're going to have the water part, and that is not going to be fun. Yeah, I, I don't like the water part that much. Oh, come on. You could have grabbed a bar, Thomas. I'll show you guys the customization in a second. Why did... Oh, you stupid... Yeah, this game sometimes makes mistakes with where you're trying to grab it, and that's... Oh, come on! Freaking... Ugh. This game makes me angry. I don't know why. I love it. It's weird, because I love it, but then it makes me really angry. Okay, grab here. And... Come on. Ugh. Gosh, dang it. Just want to get this stupid bar. Get the bar. There we go. Okay, Um. now let's go up here. And... Ooh, there's a... Uh, there's a nice red bar to get. Oh, come on. Go up here. And around here. There we go. Oh, bounce, bounce. Yep, completely intentional. And swing through here. Ugh. Fine. Um, just, I am, yeah. So, when you start playing this game, it'll be pretty hard, but as you continue playing, you'll get better, and you'll know where to swing and stuff like. I've only played this game for about an hour or so, maybe. Come on. So, yeah, but I do like it a lot. Um, if you would like to go download Gunpoint, the game this guy made, I'll probably have a Trex place on that sometime. Uh, it's about 10 bucks on Steam, and it's what made this game possible, because this game... Uh, was is here because gunpoint was so popular and amazing but um let's just beat this level oh come on stop grabbing the stupid window okay just go and oh dang it yeah this is this is really making me angry I'll just show you guys the customization so you've got like retract speed how fast it goes retract speed when multiplayer oh oh this is multiplayer I thought it was multiplayer uh, the bar shrink rate and the bar shrink rate percentage so you can um, you can modify the bar height and stuff you can modify everything like that the level width if you want to make it really wide make it really narrow the level height uh, level variety and the average density I'm going to turn that down because that water is annoying there we go and now let's do this. Oh, I wasn't even playing and it started getting bars. Um, interesting. Oh, oh, come on. You won red bar. So if you have any games that you guys want me to play for Chex Plays, uh, then write it right in the comments below. And if I have it, I will probably play it. Maybe. I'm going to try and play, uh, like, every single game in my Steam library. Most of them for Chex Plays. Because uh, I've still got a few that I haven't played yet. That I've had for months and still need to play. So, anyways, guys, that was Floating Point, completely free, utterly gorgeous, and just a lot of fun to go and swing around. Um, tons of customization. You can change every aspect about how the game is played, and it, it's free because of Gunpoint. So, if you want Gunpoint as well, you can go get that on Steam, and I recommend that. So anyways guys, thanks for watching this episode of Trex Plays, and if you liked the video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome Terraria, Minecraft, and other game content. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.